Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm going to show you how to make my resin hair clips. While recording this, my tripod kept falling over and I had to restart multiple times. So you guys don't get to see me mixing part A and part B together, but just know that'll definitely be in future videos. Before I do anything else, I like to take a piece of tape and fold it inside out so that there's two sides and it'll stick to my finger. And then I like to press down in every single mold that I'm going to be using so that there's literally no hair, no dust, no nothing inside it at all. For the first clip, I use a thin layer of resin as like a base so that there's no air bubbles in the top of the clip when I end up popping it out at the end because if you lay out all your clay pieces on the mold itself and then put the resin on top, sometimes the resin can't seep underneath the clay piece in time before the resin is cured. Now I'm just showing me putting the fruits inside the resin. At first I tried using my scooper as a little like guide, but it was not working out. So as you can see here, I just ended up dumping them all in there and calling it good. Now I'm just making sure that they're all fully coated in resin and they look exactly how I want them to look when I pop them out. Now I just take my big mixing cup and I dump the clear resin into three separate cups so that I can start doing separate colors. At this point, my tripod fell like three times, so I had to just leave it in. This part is by far my favorite. This is where I like to add all my glitters. And as you can see, I definitely added quite the collection of glitters into this. This clip specifically, I wanted to go for a Valentine's Day theme, so that's why I'm adding a bunch of pink and purple glitters. I'm adding one drop of pink acrylic paint so that I can color my resin with that. If you only use a tiny drop, it helps immensely. It literally only takes a tiny bit. The only thing I like to warn people about when using acrylic paint and resin is to make sure you only use one drop because it can make it so that your resin does not cure properly. Finally, we're getting to the best part where we get to pour our resin into our mold. And this is just so satisfying, so you guys just get to watch this and enjoy.
The next style I want to do for a clip is like some flowers with gold flakes. So right now you can see I'm just adding in the gold flakes and then we're going to mix them in. Just make sure when you're stirring that you're stirring as slowly as possible because it can cause a lot of air bubbles to come up to the surface. And if you're using clear resin, you can see those bubbles like crazy. Now I'm just adding in the purple flowers that I actually saved from my flowers this summer and I dried them myself and I'm going to put them in and I think they turned out so pretty with the gold flakes. Again, you just want to make sure that you're stirring as slowly as possible. With these, I had to break up the flowers because they were dried up and they were pretty big as is so I ended up breaking them up while I was stirring and it came out really cute. I guess I decided to add some gold glitters at this point. <laughs> and then I ended up just pouring the resin right into the mold. And at this point, it looks like I had a flower that was too big, so I ended up taking that one out and then just smoothing it all out so that the resin would be perfectly even inside of the mold. Now here's the classic resin pour that you guys are gonna love. After I let them cure for about 24 hours, this is when I started to demold them. I didn't end up showing this part, but after I ended up pulling them all out of the molds, I used the jewelry that the molds came with. Like they came with separate clips, they have three different styles for the three different types of molds that they came with. And I used those and put E6000 for jewelry on them 
and stuck them on and let them sit for 24 hours so that the glue had enough time to harden fully. Just make sure you wait until the end of the video because at the end I show all of the pictures with all of the clips completely put together and they they turned out amazing so I really hope you guys stay to the end and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for everybody that clicked on this video. I really did have a fun time making it. Even though my tripod fell 500 times, it was still really fun and I love how these clips came out. They're perfect for Valentine's Day or any occasion. They can be customized. Thank you so much. Bye.